Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial from Plugins 4D. Today we're going to remap a texture that's used on a CVAR material. So I'm going to load in a CVAR capture. And while I've got this open, I'm also going to right click and click on Show Files. This is just to bring up all the textures that are used on this capture, and I'll talk about this in a second. So now we have our scene loaded in, and if we press play, we'll see that my face is moving around there in the scene. What I want is I actually want just one frame from this capture, and I want to use that single frame for the entire animation, rather than having it always change the texture. A good thing to do when you're creating your first captures is to actually film your face with the phone quite close to you, and that way you'll get a really good texture to use for your initial frame if you wish to do this kind of workflow. So let me just continue here. So now I've selected frame 50. That's the frame I want to use throughout the entire animation. With the capture selected, I'm going to click on Use Single Frame Texture, and that locks it in so that it's going to use that one frame throughout the entire animation. It's no longer changing the texture. Let's have a look at what that looks like. So these are the UVs there, and it's locked it to use those UVs during the entire animation. What I want to do now is I want to create a brand new material and remap the texture so that it's not using those UVs, but using the UVs that originally come with the original model. And we'll see what that looks like at the end. So I'm going to go create a single material. This is with the face selected. I'm going to bring up that folder that I had, and I'm going to select frame 50. Now the frame numbers are the last numbers before the .jpg. So I'm going to scroll down here, and there's frame 50 there. I'm going to drag on frame 50 into my material. And now what I want to do is remap this so that it's uh, remapped in a different way to take up the full UV space. So I'm going to switch over to the vector split view, create a canvas, drag the face on. On the canvas, with it selected, go to the UVs tab, click Store UVs. Now on the new capture, come down and click Set Default UVs. And these are the UVs that we actually want. I'm going to click on the canvas again, and then click Remap to New Material. You see there the face is updated. I can delete that canvas now, and I can delete the old material too. Now let's have a look at what this looks like. Click up here and grab the Material view. And you can see that the texture has been remapped to the new UV space, and it's also bled out the texture as well. So this allows you to now use this texture any way you want, and you've got a lot more resolution to add extra detail and painting if you need it. 